Hello everyone, this is Matt from TCAW. I'm going to bring you a new series of shorts uh, regarding wrestling. I'm going to kick it off with a quick review of Royal Rumble 2021. On the pre-show, we had the Women's Tag Team Championships. We had uh, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax taking on the team of Charlotte Flair and Asuka. It was a match. It was okay. The... Um, the biggest thing to come out of it, obviously, apart from the title change, was the continuation of the feud with Charlotte Flair and Lacey Evans. Uh, that shouldn't have really taken centre stage as a match, but at least it was on the pre-show. Uh, it puts another title back on Nia Jax, which keeps her in the in the main event picture, which is just terrible. However, I am happy that Shayna Baszler gets some championship time. I think she's brilliant i mean this match had three very very good female wrestlers uh and nia Jax. what i didn't like i didn't like the continuation of the burial of Asuka. she she's losing too much for me she's she's my favorite women's wrestler uh, that wwe have and uh i don't think they're using her right but you know as a match if we'd use a five star scale i would give it bang in the middle two and a half next up we have the start of the main show, the start of the kick-off of the pay-per-view, and it was Drew McIntyre defending his WWE Championship against Bill Goldberg. I, I didn't like it. I mean, if, you, if you've seen the pod, um, if you haven't, then why not get on now, have a watch. You will see some very strong opinions concerning Bill Goldberg. Um, and uh, I, I don't know, I, 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 just, I just don't get it. I don't get why he's brought in now he's, he's almost 60 years old and he looks i mean he's in decent shape he'd destroy me but should he be in there with someone the size of mcintyre the, with with the role mcintyre is on no no he shouldn't no not at all should he be kicking out of claymores even if you know they are one of the first moves hit no he shouldn't the claymore should be protected WWE need to do a better job of protecting their big stars finish However, the right result came out of this match. Uh, McIntyre won, McIntyre defended, which was the right result. They did a whole respect thing at the end, blah, 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 blah. I'd give it one. It didn't do anything for McIntyre. It did nothing to, to forward McIntyre on. So, it is what it is. Next up, we have uh, Sasha Banks versus Carmella again. Um, this match wasn't horrible. It was good. It was good. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit confused with Sasha Banks' character. She's sort of like this tweener at the minute. I don't know whether you're supposed to cheer or boo her. Excuse the glasses. They keep steaming up. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what, what, what's going on with her character. Whether she's supposed to be heel or face. Um, she, I enjoy Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is great. I don't. I'm not really getting anything out of this feud with Carmella. Uh, hopefully that that is the end of that now. Um, but it wasn't a bad match. Saying that it wasn't, there were some some botchy moments, but they're always here when Carmella's involved. I uh, I would uh, I'd, I'd give that it was I'd give that a three. It was a solid effort from both women, and I didn't hate it. So it was enjoyable, enjoyable. So. On to the Women's Royal Rumble. Now, the Women's Royal Rumble was great. I loved it. Uh, there were some uh, some MVPs. Uh, I think uh, Bailey did a good job starting off. I think, uh, obviously, Bianca Belair was great. Uh, Billy Kay. Billy Kay. Now, that there, there, there's somebody with some comedy timing. She actually made me laugh going up and passing out her headshots. Um, yeah, she was funny, but I think with the ex, uh, the, the, the Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, they, they were powerful in it. Again, Nia Jax came in late, so that was good. Baszler looked good throughout, but I like Baszler. Baszler, um, as much as I like the tag team, the women's tag team, I don't, I don't think, I think it's a little, and it's nice to see titles on Baszler, but I don't think it's right. Uh, she's stuck in it. I think Baszler deserves to be in the championship mix at all times. I think she's great. Uh, 
during this match, some nice entrance, a nice legends return. A Gillian Hall was funny. Uh, I wouldn't exactly call Gillian Hall a legend. Nice to see Tory Wilson. Uh, it was lovely to see Victoria. I love Victoria. I always thought she was great. Um, but the MVP of this match, by a long way probably, was Rhea Ripley. She looked awesome. Um... She was dominant, she was strong. Getting rid of Alexa Blitz was quick, was good. She was like, what are you all standing around for? Uh, and she ripped just threw her out. Don't let her go, psycho. But, you know, again, if you've seen the pod, I'm not a fan of the um, of the Fiend and Alexa Bliss. I think, I think it's awful. But, yeah, it was a really, really good, solid rumble. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. The only bit I didn't like, which knocks it down to, to bong, I'm going to give it four stars. I didn't like the comedy bit in the middle. Um, they, should, they should just get rid of the 24-7 title now. Um, I appreciate people find our truth funny. He is funny, he's a funny man, but this 24-7 title has, has run its course now and it was disrespectful in the middle of what was a very, very entertaining rumble. Uh, they wouldn't have done that in the men's one. It just wouldn't have happened. Uh, I found it disrespectful. I found... I just hate this 24-7 title bit. It's... Yeah, Pete Rosenberg ended up winning it. Who cares? Who cares? Genuinely, genuinely it's, it's ran its course now. Stop it. You've got people wasted in it, like Drew, Drew Gulak, who's, who's a great wrestler, and Tozawa, who's really good. Just get rid. Just stop it. Anyway, you see, it's it's dragged me off on a tangent. I probably spoke more about the 24-7 title than I've done the Women's Rumble, and the Women's Rumble was brilliant. It was really good. Check that out. After the Women's Rumble, we move on to the last man standing match between Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, and my God, was this brutal. This, this I really enjoyed. Um, there was some big falls, big shots. Big bumps. I've, I've seen AEW fans complain that they're just copying the forklift bit, but come on, wrestling is a copy of a copy of a copy. As long as it's entertaining and makes sense at a time, don't don't think that you own stuff. They were moaning about the golf cart bit, saying, oh, Matt Hardy did this the a few weeks. Yeah, I've seen Raven, Big Show and Kane, haven't you, with golf carts, where they chase each other around like a Benny Hill sketch. Don't think it's uh, exclusive to AEW and that they came up with it and that the genius is it isn't. People have been complaining about the finish of this match. I liked it. I didn't mind it. I thought Paul Heyman took too long to get the handcuffs off for Roman Reigns in the end. But, you know, a low blow and a choke. A choke always knocks people out. Whether it knocks them out for 10 seconds is another thing. But, you know, if, if they're trying to establish Roman Reigns with this big finish of a guillotine, then, yeah, it did its job. And it was brutal. And it was Really good. I'd give that a solid four out of four out of five. I really liked it. I think Reigns is a great champion. He's one of my favourite wrestlers around at the minute. Finally, we're on to the men's Royal Rumble match. Oh, boy, it just baffles me. And this isn't because I hate Edge, because I really like Edge. Edge, when he came back, I popped and I popped hard for Edge. I really did. But did he need to win this Rumble? Not for me. He didn't. Daniel Bryan needed to win this Rumble. Uh, the final four, yeah, I mean, I'm not including Randy Orton because he buggered off. He did a, he did a, he did an Austin, um, and Vince McMahon, sorry, just vanished. So, and then when he came back, he lasted about two seconds. So, Edge, Edge wins the final four. Edge, Christian, Braun Strowman, and Seth Rollins. <laughs> what? That that puts Seth Rollins in the strongest position for the SmackDown Championship now, because he finished third or fourth. So. Big E was wasted in an angle with Omos. They ain't even on the same shows. The booking just amazes me. It's just, if you're going to book Edge to win, then then why why was Daniel Bryan eliminated? I do feel fans wouldn't have booed Edge, but they would have been annoyed at being eliminated within the final six. Riddle looked strong. There were some good bits. Riddle looked strong, like I say. Um... Damien Priest looked like an animal. So I'd give this Rumble three, and that was because some booking decisions um, uh, baffled me. Overall, Rumble was a solid pay-per-view. Good way to start the year for WWE. 
All right. Thanks for listening. Like, share and subscribe. Check out the, the normal podcast. See you again. Bye.